Hi guys, this is Vikas over here and this is Real Genius. Guys, today I am again with a new video around Omega 2. We will see how to install Python onto it and getting started with some basic scripts to like uh, accessing GPIOs and all of Omega 2 by using Python. So in this tutorial, we will see how to install Python onto the Omega 2 itself and we will uh, use some libraries available to access the GPIOs. And in this video, you can see I tried with Python 3, but that didn't seem to work. So I uh, again shifted to Python 2 so and uh, that actually worked for me. Uh, again, if you are trying with Python 3 and it works for you, please mention that in the comments below so that I can give it a try. So being said that, let's get started guys. So guys to start with python applications on omega 2 we need to install python onto the omega 2 as by default it is not shipped with python installed on it so to do that we can use command line interface and we can interact with the command line by using either serial or ssh so over here in this tutorial i am going to use ssh for it and for that you need to connect to the access point of your omega 2 and if you are interested in like uh, getting the command line in serial mode and all and your PC doesn't have any Wi-Fi adapter inbuilt, you can check out my earlier tutorial like how to uh, get the command line using serial interface. And after that commands are same for both SSH as well as the serial command line interface. So to start with SSH, we are going to use putty over here and you can use any application that supports SSH and you can type in the IP of your omega 2 that is by default 192.168.3.1 if you have changed it you can definitely uh, type in your changed ip address or you can go ahead with the domain name that is omega hyphen last four digits of your mac id of omega 2 dot local and after getting this interface type in login as root and the default password is on your near now before installing python onto it we, we just need to update the package manage, management tool over here that is the opkg and that is using opkg update so this will update all the repositories and all now so now to start with python installation we get different options like you can use light version you can use python 2.7 light as well as python 3 python 3 light all those things so and that again depends how much memory you are having on your python 2 left out for like python installation and all and that again depends upon how much memory you are left out for python applications and all on your omega 2 so to do that i am just going to install python 3 over here that is full version that comes with like everything out of the box we don't need basic libraries for basic application development over here so to go ahead with it type in opkz then install python 3 so if you are interested in light version you can type in light or if you are interested in two version 2.7 you can simply remove this 3 it will automatically install 2.7 so let's get to ahead with uh, python 3 again the, this uh, may take around 6 mb of space whereas uh, the python light version takes around 2 or 3 mb of space so let's wait till it gets finished okay it's showing up that i don't have enough space as because i i just installed uh, like node.js earlier on so i just need to remove that one opkz remove node.js and after that i'll try once more oh sh uh, i just misspelled it and now let's try once more and it should install it Uh, so it is a uh, finished installation and all now let's try to write a simple script on python so to do that i'll use bi 
then let's say main dot phi and over here I'll simply write print world let's print escape colon wq exclamatory symbol yep now to run this file I can simply type in python then main dot py okay I just uh, actually I installed python 3 So for some reason it is not detecting python 3 as a command and all so i'm going to remove python 3 and instead we are going to download python 2 and that is again light version let's see if that works so to remove i can use the command opkz remove python 3 now let's check the space left out Python 3 light. So we just need to mention over here that we are going to remove the dependence also. Yep. Now let's see if we are getting our space required. Yeah, we have left out with. Uh, or like around 5 MB of space so let's try to install python 2 instead and to do that I can use the command opkz install python light and again it should take some time wait till it gets finished Okay, it has finished installation. Let's try if it detects Python now. Yep, it is successfully detecting. So let's take it from here. Oh, sorry. Yep. Uh, let's try to run the file that we created earlier. That is Python main.py. And it should print out hello world over here. Now uh, let's try to access GPIOs and all of your uh, like Omega 2 over here and to access GPIO we are going to need one library that is PyOnion GPIO and we need to first install it by using OPKZ. So let's install it by using OPKZ then install PyOnion GPIO. And it should install the required libraries for this. Now, once again, let's try to edit the Py script or Python script. And over here, we'll try to control the RGB LED present on the expansion dock over here. And that is again connected to pin number 15, 16, and 7. So over here, we'll try to interact with pin 15 16 and 17 and we'll try to access those so to do that we first need to import the library required for it and that is import onion gpio uh, let's import it as gpio simply and for delay and all you can import time then after that we need to create one object for GPIO class and all so let's say X uh, let's say let's make it X equals GPIO dot on GPIO 
and after that we need to provide the pin number that we want to access uh, so let's say we want to access pin number 17 that is for red led of the rgb led present over there and we can make the direction of the led as output by using x dot set output direction and this will return you one or uh, sorry minus one or zero if it is successful in doing the functionality and all it will return you zero if it is uh, failed it will return you minus one so now uh, let's write a while loop that will continue forever okay while one then we'll type on uh, like x dot set value and the value you want to set that is let's say one and again it also returns minus one if it is unsuccessful and otherwise it will return zero if it is successful in setting up the value now we can uh, give some delay like time dot sleep let's say one second and again we will make x dot set value I'll make zero and then we'll have some delay sleep and again it will sleep for one second so this continues forever and when like uh, we can remove this print statement over here we can print it like this yep now it should uh, it should print out the statement it will, it will blink the red LED forever now let's check it out press escape colon wq s club remark enter now let's try to run the file that is python main.py Okay, it is uh, telling no module named it only on GPIO. Again, I need to edit this file. And this is O oh, capital over here. WQ. Let's hope this time it runs. Uh, it's saying it's the source is busy so let's try to like some other application might have might have locked the particular gpio uh, let's try to run change the gpio number over here 15 Application once again. Okay. Actually, I had some issues with the code. Actually, another application was using the same GPIO. That's why it was throwing error. But again, I have modified over here and added a new line. That is x dot free GPIO. This will free the GPIO. So it will not have uh, like exception when you next time access the same GPIO with they are either like python or any other programming languages so over here uh, again i will replace the while loop with like a for loop and it will uh, like 20 uh, blink the led for 20 times so over here i have taken a lead number 16 that is for green so it should uh, blink the green led on the expansion dock for 20 times so let's see if it works escape quit yep now to run it i can use the command python main dot py and it uh, successfully running and you can check out your green led should blink for 20 times so that's all with this guys that's all with python and all with uh, like uh, omega 2 and all 
and if you are interested in more on that like accessing GPIOs or the interfaces by using Python and all you can check out yourself and I hope I'll be coming around more videos on those things using Python and all and I hope you have liked this video and if so you can hit the thumbs up button and if you have not subscribed to my channel sub you can definitely subscribe to it uh, for latest updates and all so see you next time with my next video till then goodbye